Hello everyone, just wanted to take you through the vendors template and how to fill it out. This first row right here is the different sets of headers. The second row right here gives you a description as to how to fill out the data within each of the headers. What we like to point out is this valid values section as well as this required section. Intact is very specific in what it accepts as a successful import, so we always recommend reading these descriptions. What we also want to point out is the orange columns are intact required, and the columns highlighted in blue are our Menino recommended based upon our experiences with our clients. We have an example here that I've added for ABC Company. But let's take a look and delve into each column separately. Column B, Vendor ID. You can select to have your vendor ID as an auto sequencing or auto numbering ID, meaning Intact will automatically set these up so that you do not have to add them in yourself. Now you do have the option of adding in your current vendor ID. In our case, I've left it blank so that Intact can generate one. The, the main benefit that we normally see with this auto numbering or auto sequencing is that Intact will keep track. Uh, in the case that we added five vendors today and we add five tomorrow, all those vendor IDs tomorrow are going to be kept in sequence, so it's something you don't have to keep track of. Column C is a vendor name. Column E, we recommend putting a term for that specific vendor so that when you're booking AP, the term will automatically be updated. I've just selected net 30 as an example. Column F is a vendor type. This is a way to actually group your vendors together. So I've just created one called construction, but really it's, it's, it's a grouping so you can create as many vendor types as you'd like to categorize your vendors. Column G is a tax ID, so that's pretty straightforward. Column K is a GL account number. Now this is always nice just because when you're booking AP, in addition to your terms auto-populating, if you have assigned a GL account number for that specific vendor, this will automatically populate as well once the vendor is selected. Columns P through R are information related to 1099s. So in our case, for our example, I use the 1099 miss and I use box number three. If we scroll further down, the contact name is also required and the contact name is essentially the, the way that Intact keeps track of each contact. It's not necessarily the actual contact for that vendor. What we normally recommend is using the vendor name, so in our case, ABC Company. Same thing goes for the company name, same thing goes for the print as. In this section, you can include the contact for that actual vendor here by giving the first name and last name. If we scroll further down to columns AN and A through AS, you can include and indicate the address for that specific vendor. So for our example below, I've included this address. And that wraps up the vendors template. Thanks a lot for joining. Have a nice day.